Kiora, what is the difference between an orbital and an energy level? An orbital is a region of space where you can find electrons. Each orbital can take up to two electrons because the electrons spin in different directions. So if an electron spins in one clockwise, then it'll form a different um, magnetic pole to if it was spinning in the other direction. And that's why you can have up to two electrons in each orbital. Now an orbital also has different shapes. So any electron that's say in this S-shaped orbital can be anywhere between here. It's not necessarily going round the outside round and round. It could be anywhere. It could be zigzagging around. They move incredibly fast inside an orbital. So we don't know exactly how they move. Um, Notice that it's anywhere inside here. It's think of it as a ball, so it can go all the way through to the nucleus. Then you can get the p orbitals, which are like a double teardrop, and notice that they can also get down to more or less the, the nucleus, as well as being more on the peripheries. And we have three p orbitals. Then you also get the d and the f. So let's have a look at uh, how energy levels and orbitals fit together. So imagine the nucleus right here in the middle is a tiny little dot because it takes up very little space. And now we're adding the first energy level. So what we really have here is an area of space, the orbital, where we find two electrons or up to two electrons. And these have a particular energy. So that's where the word for the energy level comes in. It's the first energy level. It has uh, the electrons in there have a particular energy. So that first energy level is also defined by what we call the principal quantum number n. So n, as far as you're concerned, will be n is equal to 1, 2, 3, or 4. So the first energy level has one orbital in it as well. The second energy level has um, th four different orbitals in it. So it's got the s. So the electrons in here have got a higher energy. So they will be moving a bit faster and so on. And they can penetrate in a, around in a much bigger volume. So they take up more space. And we have not only the 2s in the second or energy level, we also have the 2p orbitals. And notice there are three of those different types. And they can penetrate to more or less the nucleus. Um, and they take up an area around here. So the second energy level can take up to eight electrons, where the electrons in the p orbitals have a particular energy, and the electrons in the s orbital, because it's a different shape, they have a slightly different energy to the ones in the 2p. Then we get to the third energy level. Now, it's a third energy level because the electrons here are higher again in energy, they have more energy, and the orbitals take up more space. So the 3s orbital takes up more space. The electrons can move again still into the center as well as to the outside. And then we also have the three 3p orbitals. And we also now have the d orbitals. So notice that the d orbitals penetrate to the amount of the same amount of space it doesn't take up more space. The difference being is that the, the, the p orbitals are always slightly higher in energy than the um, d orbitals. Sorry, the p orbitals, the electrons, they are always higher in energy than the s, and the electrons in the d orbitals are higher again in energy than the 3p. So we have electrons here that are higher in energy but taking up a similar volume. Now, when we compare to the 4s, notice that electrons in the 4s can take up more space because the orbital takes a, is a greater volume. The electrons here in the 4s, you would expect them to have a higher energy, being in the fourth energy level. But as the energy levels get closer to uh, get higher, so from the third to the fourth, the difference in energy gets less. So we actually have electrons in the 3D having a higher energy than electrons in the 4S, although the ones in the, the electrons in the 3D are closer to the nucleus than the ones in the 4S in general. So I hope this has helped your understanding of visualizing 
where the electrons are, what they are doing, what sort of energy they have, and um, the relationship between the orbital and the uh, energy level. Goodbye.